Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if a system scan has raised an IRQL card improper driver unload error in Windows 10. So I know that was quite a mouthful, but that's pretty much what the error should say on your screen. And that's probably how you came across this video, unless you're one of the individuals who subscribe to my content. But most of you guys are not, so you're probably coming across this problem on your own. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the issue without hopefully too much of a hassle. And we're going to go and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to have you guys do is open up the start menu, type in File Explorer, best match, go back to File Explorer listed right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side. And now locate whatever drive Windows is installed on. It should be your local disk, as well as having a little Windows icon above the hard drive icon. You want to go right click on it and then select the option that says Properties near the bottom of the drop down list. Select the Tools tab and then Error Checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors. Select Check. It says Scan Drive, so go ahead and select this option. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so it should say your drive was successfully scanned, no errors were found. Okay, so select OK to close out of here. Another thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best match should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now again SFC then a space forward slash scan now as it appears on my screen no spaces in between the scan and the now hit enter on your keyboard this will take a few minutes to run and you will need to restart your computer as well once this is done and we're going to be right back
So we see this as Windows Resource Protection did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So we are going to go close out of here and restart our computer now. Make sure you close out of any open programs and applications before you do that, obviously. Okay, so that should hopefully been able to resolve your problem, guys. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.